Hello everyone and welcome back to another mukbang. It's Lisa here and happy National Sandwich Day. I'm eating at pretty much my favorite sandwich place. I filmed one other mukbang here. It's Chiba Hut Toasted Subs. I got Cincy Kush, which is their BLT, and it's incredible. Let me read what it is for you. So it has bacon, honey sriracha, mayo, avocado, provolone, lettuce, tomato, and shaken house dressing on it. And then I told Kevin to surprise me with whatever uh, like fruity crispy bar they want or crispy bar. So he got me the special crispy bar, which looks like it has chocolate and marshmallows and the fruity one, which is fruity pebbles. And I also got a order of their pretzel nugs here. These are some of my favorite things from them, but let's take a thumbnail and then I will dig in with you guys. Okay, let's dig in. I'm so excited. I'm hungry, hungry, hungry. Okay, these are kind of messy, but that's okay. Mm. 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 I'm making a mess on my desk. Mm. Avocado. Mm. Oh my gosh. The sriracha honey is amazing. Yeah, so happy National Sandwich Day. Let me know if you have a favorite sandwich place or what kind of sandwich you like. Mm. That's incredible. Mm. Eating such a mess. Let's try these pretzel nugs. They come with mustard. Okay, my camera is doing that thing where it's really frustrating. So let's hope we can make it through this muck bar. <laughs> mm. Mm. And I did get the sandwich on the garlic herb bread. Anyway, back to the pretzels. Wanted to show you. Comes with the mustard. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very yummy. Wow. Mm. I'm just obsessed with pretzels. Pretzels are like one of my favorite things to eat. Mm. I just recently bought some pretzel dogs that were like frozen in the frozen section. And I really didn't feel like they were all that much like pretzels. <laughs> They have so many options here for sandwiches as well. So if you have a Chiba Hut next to you guys or close to you guys, you definitely need to try them. Mm. <laughs> 
so messy. Mm. I do have a couple of things, well, a few things. I'll let you know, um, what? I don't know why I started out like that, why I said that, but. <laughs> Just so hungry, I guess. Um, I. I read a book called The American Roommate Experiment. I have a cherry limeade. I forgot to put it in the fridge though, so we have some ice and we're gonna pour it up real fast. Oh, I have a hair in my glass, okay. We all know what it's like to shed. But it was such a good love story. I hadn't realized that there's another book that was written before this one, but they could be like standalone. They just have like some characters from the original, the first book in it, but it doesn't like, you don't have to necessarily read them either. And I had actually seen the first book. Mm. but wasn't as interested in that book as I was this one. And actually, I believe it, I believe I saw it on Daisy Sue's Instagram. She, she does YouTube videos as well, and that's how I found her, and then I started following her on Instagram. I think she posted that she liked this book. The American Roommate Experiment. Anyway, I loved the love story. Um, I think I did add the other book. It's called The Spanish Love Deception, I think, but I haven't read that one yet. Mm. But I did add it to my list so I could maybe read it since I enjoyed this other book so well. But I read it so fast, like with, within two days, which sometimes I'm not that, sometimes if I'm super, super into the book, I will read it that fast. But other times I just won't. But the love story was just great. I loved it so much. I thought it was perfect, like the way they cared about each other and how things progressed. Mm. I got the eight inch sandwich today. Normally I think I get the 12 inch, but because I was getting these for the mukbang, I was like, I'll do a little bit less. <laughs> uh. And then, now that Kevin's back, you guys, finally he's interested in watching some of the shows that we watch. So, I watched American Horror Story like as it came out all the years and then when I met Kevin you know over four and a half years ago we started binge watching them from the beginning together so that way um he would be like caught up with me uh, uh. here's the fruity crispy mmm 
Mm-hmm. Okay, it's very good. Honestly, I love Fruity Pebbles. I feel like there could be a bit more like the marshmallow stickiness to it though. This is my first time trying one of their crispy bars. Mm. And anyway, so since Kevin's back and we hadn't watched, the first season that we hadn't watched is Double Feature where they have like the two different parts of the, the season. And now the first part of the, of the season, we both were like, um, we're not sure that we really liked it. I liked the concept of the reasoning why certain things happen. Um, but overall, I just was like not, I wasn't happy that they, touched on one of the subjects that they've already touched on previously in a se in a season because I don't like when they repeat things they obviously they, it was a different concept to why these people became that way but it's the same same mythical creature from before mm. But then the second part of it, um, I really, really enjoyed. And mainly because I love the conspiracy theories to do with like our government keeping secrets and all of that. And like the death of certain people within the government. And they touched on a lot of that, which kind of surprised me. But I really loved it. I really, really loved it. Mm. Man, those chocolate chunks are nice. Those marshmallows on top too. Add the perfect bit more that I wanted of that marshmallow flavor. So yeah, we finished that season. We've started the next one, but obviously it might be a little while because he doesn't binge stuff as much as I like to. So yeah. But yeah, I would say I enjoyed about three quarters of that, that season and a quarter of the season wasn't a huge fan of it, I guess. This has got to be my favorite sandwich of all time. Let's pour some more.
that is so good. I'm gonna take one of these and put it over here. Mm. Oh. Those chocolate chunks have really nice chocolate. Like, it tastes really good. Mm. I feel like I'm always so impressed by this sandwich. No matter how many times I've had it. I probably eat Chiba Hut multiple times a week. <laughs> and I've had other sandwiches and liked them before, but this is my absolute favorite from them. Now, I hadn't heard of Chiba Hut until we moved here, so if you guys have been to Chiba Hut or have heard of it and have had it before, let me know what your favorite sandwich is or what you've had from there, please. Maybe it brought in my horizons the next time I go. Mm. There's also a series on Paramount Plus that I watched. There's just one season right now because it just came out this year. But I did look it up and there's another season coming which I'm so happy because the way they ended it I like immediately googled to see if they were going to have another season come, um, come available. And it's called School Spirits. So basically this girl wakes up um in the school and she's like dead right and there she doesn't remember but all the other ghosts remember how they passed away like throughout the years and like that show ghosts it's like they all are from different times and they're all just like hang out together and stuff it's kind of funny it's interesting but also there's like this mystery aspect of trying to figure out what happened to her because she doesn't know and i thought it was just so good the ending was extremely unexpected and wild uh, oh, that's good. And, um, yeah, just happy that they're making another season. Although, because of what happened, I don't know how it can be fixed. I feel like I don't tell, I don't explain enough about, I just tell you guys my opinions about things, but I don't tell you what it's about, like the other stuff I talked about. <laughs> I mean, you guys can look it up, what it's about, and sometimes I don't want to give away too much, because I don't, I don't want to give any spoilers, you know? So pretty. And then, uh, since this one is on Friday, oh, I think Sunday is National Chinese Takeout Day. So I'll be uploading Sunday instead of Saturday. And that's also why I uploaded Friday instead of Thursday this week is because of the national food holidays. You know, that's how I do it. 
but I always try to make it at least like three uploads a week. I know my last one wasn't very long. But don't worry, we're back to our regularly scheduled longer mukbangs. I feel like I've been eating more, but it's like I don't feel full, don't feel full, and then all of a sudden full. <laughs> So let me know if there's any particular dish that you want me to get from like a Chinese takeout place. I already know where I'm going to get the food from because it's a place that I like out here. But let me know if there's something you want to see in particular um, for the Chinese takeout. Excuse me. You know what's funny to me is whenever... I get a comment saying that I'm not ladylike or whatever from burping and stuff or whatever my mukbang makes them say that for. I'm just like, well, because I am a lady, don't you think that I'm the one that defines what being ladylike is for me? Wow, I'm really full. <sighs> mm. It's so good. is it everyone i'm so full thank you so much for watching this thank you so much for subscribing to me and if you aren't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel please give this video a thumbs up comment down below whatever you'd like to see me do next or if there's something that you're interested in me talking about a subject let me know i love you all so so much and i'll see you on the next one bye